It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Jets. And it's coming up next. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive, as we have, at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, this is a team that many think could be the fourth best in the NFC East, but they've got a pretty strong defense that's going to probably keep them in some ball games. Their investment in town has certainly paid off. Number four against the pass a season ago. Number four overall in total defense. Nothing to shake a stick at. If they get good quarterback play, look out. Greg Zerline set to get us started here, and off we go from MetLife Stadium. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from commander's leadership to be the team starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And they'll bring him down at the 27 yard line. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. With a play fake and now here's Hal to throw it. Short throw there caught by Thomas. First and ten, it's Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 14, first down, Commanders. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first down, Hal. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Back to the ground with Robinson. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. He 
Here's second and four from the 24. Now Hal. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. But that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. Powell. And that is incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through, and the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So the new look Jets ready to go on offense, and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 29, here's second down and two. Now a late signing let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook, and he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made at about the 38. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Rodgers now on first down. Completes it to Hardman. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. But Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon. And what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep that's when you're in big trouble. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Throwing now is Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. They'll find Lazard here over the middle. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. 
You gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And this will go as a game of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. Back to the ground. This time Cook. About three yards there to the 27. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Here's Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down, at least at first glance, as they'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. is a fumble but the key thing not a fumble loss yeah that, that stat's big isn't it i mean it, i remember watching teams play the ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game but the other team doesn't get it that's a huge difference in the ball game and in this case they were able to retain possession first down here's the run with cook and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down Rodgers going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw is Rodgers. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hall. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Cook is into the end zone for a Jets touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't their partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game.
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Being chased out left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Robinson on a give right side. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Al, he'll look to throw it. And he is caught. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First catch here by McLaurin, and he's got himself a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. carry for the Memphis man Antonio Gibson and he takes this up right near the 45 yard line five yards on the carry good pickup on first down that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're going to smother it but a lot of the blitzers they come in a little bit high they don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side they follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback laying on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Now they go play action with Hal. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And now to the races down the right side and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. that's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first when teams practice their plays during the week they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day so it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game and they hit that one there for big yardage so the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Hal. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports.
And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Powell out of the shotgun. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Curtis Samuel, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are once again back in front. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he's going to be taken to the ground right there at the 35-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Yeah, we got to get it done as a group. Let's go do this thing, baby. Keep our boys. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now it's Rodgers. Right back to Cook for another completion. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. Throwing is Rodgers. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Gets it to Hardman, a jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Rodgers to throw on second down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. Let's go, man. Bring it. Now Rodgers. He's got his target. 
That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he... Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. That's the Chase Young we all saw coming out of Ohio State, and no one's questioning the potential of the 2020 Rookie of the Year. The key for him, staying on the field. Health makes this a crucial year for his future in D.C. On second down, Cook. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. The man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Nicole Hardman, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Jets have taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. The Zerline now for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things, more touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Pal throw complete to Dotson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Powell from the gun. Samuel bringing in the slam. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down, Hal to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Pal's throw taken in by Samuel. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll go play action. Powell getting this into the hands of Turner. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. From the 17, here's second and four. Powell. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. Ahmad Gardner finishing off the corner blitz. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive, but bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. And they took full advantage of third down there and made a play. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He connected on his first, this from 41. Sly able to put this one through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. And he returns this to the 22. Aaron Rodgers in the offense heading back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium.
We gotta be big. From the 25, here's second down and seven. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The offense on third down can't be any better than a perfect six for six. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. With that down in distance, no real surprise. They decided to throw the ball. But I think where the surprise kicked in, the result. Short pass downfield. That ball got taken for a nice journey to turn into a big play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Rodgers going to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10. Rodgers to throw once more. And his throw is incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Rodgers now to throw. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him to first. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for it, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's Rodgers. Touchdown, Jets! C.J. Uzama from six yards away. And the Jets are able to widen their advantage. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead is up to eight. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20 call it the 21 
Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not to any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. And got his man complete! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And Howell will throw it. Here's a screen for Robinson. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard and it's second down. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short gain. Howell trying to get his offense to hurry up and get set. Now Howell. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now looking to throw again. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Rodgers now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I can hear the sigh of relief all the way up here. A dangerous throw backed up in their own territory and throwing an out route, and it got jumped, and they were fortunate it was only batted down and not intercepted. Second and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's going to get this one down to Cook, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. To throw, it's Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers again now. Ruckert holding it in on the out route. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Let's go. Let's go. 
Yeah, go right now. They need 18 yards here on third down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Washington going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a strong first half from the new Jet, Aaron Rodgers. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Rodgers. Locates Hardman for another catch. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Just more of the same here. It's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. On first down, Rodgers. There's a short one caught by Uzama. And the gain of five, and that will bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From just shy of midfield, here's second and five. On play action, now Rodgers. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. This is caught inside the 15. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 
two yards. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Cook. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Here's second and goal operating from the 8-yard line. On second down, a run with Hall. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Now they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Throwing now is Rodgers. This will be caught at about the five. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the lead now 11, 24-13. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. For the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 18. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Back to Robinson now on first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. This is second and eight. Faking the handoff, Howell. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now down to throw it. Throw left side, complete. That's Turner. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. 
But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. There's McCole Hardman as he brings this offense onto the field yet again. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Rodgers now on first down. On the out route, he finds Hardman. And will get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Now Rodgers toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Going for the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Back to throw, Howell. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 21 yards. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather, plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react and they often slip. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. the gun it's Howell and his throw here is incomplete they had definitely say that that's one he should have held on to but when you're playing in elements like this sometimes those bullet passes those ones with a little bit of pace on them they can be difficult to hold on to this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down throwing here Howell He's got the first down and then some. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 
The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. First down, how to throw. Oh, he was good as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. With a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Powell out of the shotgun. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas. 26 yards. And the Commanders are back within a score. Remember the one-dimensional tight ends who just put their hand in the ground and block people? Well, if you're that guy now, you're probably a fullback in an I-formation offense. These tight ends nowadays can do everything. Block, run, and catch. Beautiful connection for a touchdown. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Pretty important third-quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, and it's second down. Cook up the gut, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. They begin the drive with Robinson. They'll get this to about the 38. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's second and seven. Robinson with another carry. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Here's Hal. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And yeah, Howell will throw it. This will be caught at Samuel. Touchdown, Washington! Curtis Samuel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have taken the lead here in this third quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And that will make this a four point game. So that drive, four plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And New York set to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a completion to Wilson. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to bring up second down. <laughs> on play action, Rodgers. He finds Wilson, and he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A game there of 30 big ones. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Completes it to Hardman. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down.
to throw is Rodgers. There's a short one caught by Uzama. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. So they picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Throwing is Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there, second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Jeremy Rucker from 17 yards out. And the Jets have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that gives them a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Little bootleg here, Howell. And just not enough on the throw there. Got around his feet and incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Robinson up the middle. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And this offense on third down today, five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. Now how? Now we're behind his man, incomplete. I can assure you, setting up the screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington.
Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here's Rodgers. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Another example there why offensive guards have to really prepare themselves to try and play against Deron Payne. 11 and a half sacks in 2022. He picks up another one there for D.C. Now it's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Rodgers going to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now it's Crowder. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Powell. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. as they come up second and ten. Back to throw. Howell. Getting this into the hands of Turner. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. to throw it. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 27 yard line. A nice pick up there. 10 yards. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. 
I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Al throwing on first down here. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing here, Howell. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will be a 37-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll look to throw here. And his throw is incomplete. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. And they'll come out with a four receiver set. Third and nine. Now Rodgers. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. First down, Hal. And 
his throw is going to be incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Hal. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. And that'll be incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Now looking to throw again. That's out wide here for Robinson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay gain. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Pal to the air on first and ten. And Thomas has it. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Another throw for Howell. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver. And it's third and four. And how will throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Al now to throw it. Out route here, he finds Turner. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 14. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Hand off now to Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Sauce Gardner, he got downhill quickly and stuck him behind the line of scrimmage. And hey, we often talk about defensive ends setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. 
Second down, Hal now. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So eight yards on the completion there, and it's third and four now. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to break our fourth quarter time. Sly able to put this one through. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Rodgers now to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and they will take over first and 10. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, he's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Off play action, it's Hal. Slings this deep for McLaurin. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. 
Oh, boy, tough conditions out there. I don't know if a defender slipped or what, but he had a man wide open, and that's a bad one to miss on. They don't come a whole lot easier than that one right there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And he is caught, and he's going to have a commander's first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here is third down and four. On third down, Robinson. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So now Rodgers with a new team, but in a spot he's been before. Down by a field goal, just over a minute 40 to play. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Rodgers to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. Now Rodgers. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation. This is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of his contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. So now let's look at this situation with no timeouts remaining. 
the offense should be able to just run the clock out. I know that's what it says on my time management chart up here. And I know a lot of teams are hiring a time management coach who's going to sit in the box, talk to the head coach. And in this situation, if you do anything but take a knee in victory formation, then you're not playing the game right. This game should be over. Take the knee, hold on to the ball. By the way, so impressive that you do have a time management chart up here. Listen, you know I can't count. So <laughs> <laughs> I need it a big way. We can't hire anyone to help us out. So hopefully I'm reading it correctly. Powell going to go down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.